Okay, here we are now with number four, Aaron Aflalo. Again, played a very, very steady game tonight. Wasn't so much involved in looking for his points. He knows they're going to come naturally, but he was doing other things out there with that defense. Yeah, that was that was my job tonight. Um, you know, Gabe, Nick, Stewart, they're, they're great basketball players. So you know, I've always said if, if I can shut down a guy and cut his average down, that's like scoring for myself. Well, you know what? Uh, if you didn't have a chance to see the stats at halftime, they were scoreless. And that's that's what I like. That's that's my intent. You know, keep a guy scoreless. You know, it's always nice to keep him under his average. But if you can keep him scoreless, then you've done your job. Uh, Aaron, again, uh, every time you're interviewed in the in the paper, the LA Times, Daily News, whatever, you always have a positive, very positive tone, and it's very very uh, uh, uplifting to, for all Bruin fans and of course UCLA fans anywhere to read that you're not worried. You're very positive about this team. Yeah, you know, this team has a lot of potential. You know, we still have a, a lot of growing to do. We're still very young, but I think we, we, we stay focused for 40 minutes on the defensive end and, you know, stay efficient as possible on the offensive end. You know, this team could beat any team. And there's playing time here for uh, a lot of players. And, again, the crowd favorite, uh, Calvin Kim. Everybody was pulling yeah. for him. <laughs> his, sh his shot nearly went in, too. Yeah, I was, I was excited. <laughs> for, I was excited for Kelvin. Um, he comes to practice every day. He works hard. You know, the coach puts him through through everything just like the rest of the team. You know, he deserves it. So I'm glad to see him get that crowd support, you know, with the rest of the guys who, who got in towards the end of the game. And, mm -hmm. you know, I hope the best for him. Okay, the assignments come out yet for West Virginia. Have you guys seen some film on them? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure sure we'll be getting right to that tomorrow. You know, it's the hottest team in the country right now. They beat a very good Villanova team on the road, won another tough game at home. So, you know, they're either ranked right behind us in some polls or in front of us in some polls. So mm -hmm. it'll be a very important game for us. Well, you know, again, we've been able to see Coach Holland able to utilize the bench. He's going deeper now because forced by injury and, and the players are producing roles, doing doing wonders for you. Uh, uh, Collison has, has picked up his game and um, Aboya, everybody's been put in and starting to respond. Yeah, we, we didn't really have the luxury of having our, you know, our, our starting five from the beginning of the season and having our, our five that we have out there now coming off the bench. But, um, you know, the guys that are in there, that they're making the best of it. You know, Mike Rowe is shooting the ball well. Darren's handling the point, mm -hmm. you know, like a vet. Uh, Alfred, Ryan Wright, all these guys are coming in, rebounding, doing their job. And that's mm -hmm. all you can ask. Okay. And you've always responded whenever we bass, Aaron. Thank you so much for <laughs> no being problem. with us, okay, and spending you. some time. Okay, the Bruins, again, <laughs> winning big time here over the Trojans, the Crosstown rival, and put them away very quickly. It wasn't really a contest, but they held off for pride and uh, ended up, instead of losing by 30, the Trojans dropped it by 21. Okay, I think that's it. We're here from Nell and John Wooden Court. And it's, of course, Pauly Pavilion. I think we're done for the evening. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation of East L.A. Sports Scene's coverage of Pac-10 basketball, this time coming into the home of the Wizard of Westwood, Johnny Wooden, and all of the national championships that were produced in this gym. So for Eric Sarney, Alfred Perez, Rico Cabrera Jr., and Rico Cabrera Sr., thanks for watching, and watch every Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., for our live coverage of East L.A. Sports Scene. Thanks for watching.